hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for this week you're making banku so let's begin and let me tell you more about it this is a meal that is made by using fermented corn dough and fermented cassava dough you mix it up and then you put it on fire and cook it for me, I usually like to use equal parts of um, the cassava dough than the equal parts of um, condo as well. I mix the cassava dough with water, then I strain it over the condo. There are people that don't do this, but then I usually find that the cassava dough has a lot of um, chaff that I don't like in my condo because if I, if I don't strain it, then I'm going to end up with lumps in it. So I always like to get that out of the way and then mix everything together then it will go on to the fire now the beginning stages of this is like your make or break a point okay because you need to start around this is the time where it forms lumps so you start around and as it thickens up you just drive it towards the edge of the saucepan i hope i'm making sense but then as you can see in the video here just put it on the edge is it the edge i don't even know goodness so you just drive it <laughs> to the suspend you know just so that if there's any initial lamps it starts to break and as you do this your mixture will thicken up so this is just the process you're just driving it and when it needs water we'll add the water when it needs the steam we'll add the steam and then just leave it to cook beautifully so when i've done this for a while i bring the first quantity of water i'm going to do two batches of water so i add the first one and then i break the mixture up you know in the in the middle just so that the water the steam from the water can you know enter every part of this mixture now i'll cover this and leave it to boil for about three to five minutes and then come back to it okay so then here's how it looks like after it's boiled for a while now i'm just going to mix everything together and still drive it towards the edge of the saucepan until it, it becomes a, a you know a solidified form banco is usually made with a special saucepan okay and it comes with, with its um other tools <laughs> And it's made on a coal pot but then if you don't have that or you want to make a small quantity then you can get a saucepan with an extended handle it's easier to work with that on the stove okay and then you do this this is just a small quantity that i make but if it was plenty then i'd have to do it on the coal pot in that special saucepan i'll insert a picture Banco is a staple food that originates from the Ghana Dambi tribe but then is widely enjoyed in Ghana there are other variants from other clans as well different um, tribes as well and as we move on we're going to try all of those ones um, this is usually enjoyed with okra stew um, okra soup even different types of soups or with um, a simple grinded pepper or different types of pepper sauces now over here i've added the second quantity of water i'm going to repeat the same process break it up and then leave it to boil then i'll come back to it if you don't want your banku to be too soft then you can totally skip the second quantity of water that i add but then i was going for a softer texture because i've realized that over time it becomes hard like it firms up when it gets cold so i always like to start off with very soft banku and then you know eventually it has it hardens up as the days go by one thing that i do that speeds up the cooking process is to cover it and then allow the steam to cook it at a point okay so i leave this um the cover on for about three to five minutes and then let the steam do its thing just like it, it, it looks here and then i'll just drive it towards the edge the last time and then taste it when your banco is ready you know you don't taste the um rawness of the cassava and um, corn dough when it's ready so at this point it's done i just scoop it out and then mold it
here's how I accept mine. If you want to see how I made that tilapia as a previous video. Um, so thank you so much for watching. God bless you. See you in my next one.